This is Project Infra Health. We're Team Metaphor. I'm Team Leader Kevin Martin. I'm Garrett Crawford. I'm Quinn Ransom. And I'm Jerry Smith. So our app is a health monitoring system which would allow athletic trainers to input data into an athlete's account based on their weekly test results. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is the trainer sign up and login functionality. So the first thing I'm going to choose here on this app is trainer. I'm going to go into the sign up menu. Then I'm going to create a random user. So I'm going to enter hopefully a W number that doesn't exist. Then full name, I'm going to choose G Money. And then G Money at gmail.com. Now I've got to put in a password, super secure password. Then I've got to confirm that password. And now I can sign up. So I just created a trainer, but that trainer isn't approved by an administrator yet. So it shouldn't be able to access any trainer pages. So what I'm going to do is log out of that and show you the admin side. So I'm going to log in as an administrator now. Okay, so now that I'm logged in as an administrator, I can go here to the sign up page. Ideally, every time you log in as an administrator, it should send you directly to the admin pages, but we don't have that set up and working yet. So from here in the admin pages, you can manage pending trainers, and there you see G Money that I just created. You can either approve or deny it, so I'm going to approve it. It goes away, and now it will show up in the manage existing trainers. So from here, you can scroll down, and there's G Money. You can delete the user from here if you wanted to. And that's pretty much it for the uh, admin pages. Now I'll pass it to Quentin. All right. Now I'm going to direct myself back to our initial user screen, and I'm going to log in as an athlete. So my name is Bob, yes, and I'm going to put in my credentials to log in. And upon logging in, it's going to direct me to our home screen. And our home screen shows our four main pages that include trainer input information that shows certain calculations. And I'll pass it off to Jerry. We have a couple different ways to navigate around the app. Uh, first, we have a navigation drawer, which you can open either by pushing the button at the top with the logo on it. So open the drawer and show you the different pages that we have to navigate to here. You can also close it with the button here or open and close it by sliding it with your finger. Uh, as of right now, the contact page is the only one that is functional and Garrett's gonna talk about that one in just a minute. We also have a BMI calculator, it's just a simple calculator right now, but it's later gonna be part of a tab for the athlete to do other uh, calculations as well. And now I'm gonna pass it off to Garrett. All right, we currently have on our home screen, we have the blood pressure. And this is where the athlete will be able to see the data inputted by the athletic trainer of their blood pressure. There'll also be the last measured uh, date on there as well. So you can see the last time you got your blood measured uh, blood pressure measured, it'd be on here. And then we have hydration. And then here on the hydration, it'll tell you your last hydra hydration test date, uh, your daily goal of how much water you should uh, dr be drinking. Uh, and then once you take your uh, test, you'll get your test result, good, mild, or bad, green, yellow, uh, red for in that case. And here it's mild, so your next appointment is going to show up, 10-4-2022. So that will be based on your last hydration test result for your uh, next appointment. And then also in the screen navigation, we have the contact page. And in the contact page, we have the athletic trainer. So within this contact page, you'll be able to call the athletic trainer if you need to to get a hold of her. Or you can go back and email her just in case. 
everything is working on here. Now I'll pass the phone back to Kevin to talk about future goals. So for future goals, trainers should be able to create teams and populate them with user accounts. They should also be able to input health data into user accounts. Users should be able to see specific pages based on their roles, and we need to implement a more secure way of storing health data. Also, athletes should be able to complete a daily checkup survey upon login. Any questions? <laughs>